okay so dear students today's uh, uh, problem is equation of path the equation of path is given to us that y is equal to root 3x minus x square okay. and then you are supposed to calculate different parameters like number one calculate the initial angle of projection b parts that calculate horizontal range c parts calculate maximum height d parts that you have to calculate the time of flight and the next you have to calculate the initial velocity all right okay so first of all it's like this first of all try to understand it it's like this this is the this here x axis and this one is y axis and this is what we call is the origin or the initial point of projection all right now the particle is thrown like this with some initial velocity that's equal to u at some angle theta the particle will follow a parabolic path and will strike the ground somewhere here all right yeah. so then you know that this point is point o which is the origin or the initial point and this point is the highest point which is point a and what about this this is the landing point which is point b yeah. then you know this is this is what this is maximum height okay you are supposed to calculate this and what about this this is here horizontal range okay this ob it's called as horizontal range okay now in this very problem what you are supposed to calculate is this what you are supposed to do is this you, are, you have to calculate number one and initial angle up projection taken yeah. okay so let's work it out here so here we'll work it out so first of all what is given to you is this y y y it's equal to root 3x what is it equal to root 3x minus minus. so first of all what i will do is i will compare it it's a quadratic equation i will compare it with the generalized quadratic equation and the general quadratic equation is what that's equal to ax minus bx square all right so x minus bx square okay taken up so when you compare it with this, what is the value of this a? a is equal to root 3. All right, a is equal to root 3, which is the coefficient of x. And what about the b? What is the value of b? b is simply equal to 1. b is equal to 1. Take it Okay, then this is part This is part a. First of all, what you have to calculate is initial angle of projection. Initial angle of projection, we will use this equation that is tan theta is simply equal to what? That's equal to a. All right, take it Tan theta is equal to a. a. So this a will be in turn equal to what? That's equal to root 3. Okay, so that means that value of theta is what? That's equal to 60 degree. Take it Because simply tan 60 is equal to root 3. So hence we have calculated the initial angle of projection. And that's here for you. That's what? Theta is equal to 60 degree. All right. Next b part. B part we have to calculate horizontal range. Let's try to calculate the horizontal range. This horizontal range will be simply equal to a divided by b. We have calculated this equation that horizontal range is a divided by b. These equations are highly handy and highly easy to use. So what is the value of e? A a ka value kya hai beta? It is value is equal to root 3. Thik hai na beta? B ka value kya hai beta? That's equal to 1. Root 3 by 1 is simply root 3 meters. So yaan se hai mehara nikala beta kya? Horizontal range. Horizontal range. Next what we'll be doing is this. Next we'll be doing this. This is your C part. We have to calculate what maximum height. Maximum height. In order to calculate maximum height, there's a relation between this uh, horizontal range and the maximum. And what is that? That is simply like this, that this uh, tan theta multiplied by R, isn't it? Is equal to four multiplied by H. Take a four multiplied by H. H. All right. Yes. So what will I will calculate this value of H. Tan theta, we already calculated. You can check it out here. So tan theta, we have calculated that's equal to root three. Okay, yes, root 3 multiplied by root 3 is k barabar hoga beta? 3 k barabar. Of course, it will be equal to 3. Then this 4 will be here. So this is here 3 divided by 4 is equal to what? Maximum height. So maximum height is equal to 3 by 4. Or you can write down like this. Yes, so we are done with the part C as well. That's we have to calculate. We have calculated the maximum height of the projectile as well. Ab bolo beta, ab D part kya hai beta? What is, what is the D part? Part D is that we have to calculate the time of flight. Time of? Flight. In order to calculate time of flight, again by 8 exactly. Yes. Of course, time of flight. So, here it will be 8. So, T will be equal under root of 8 multiplied by H. 4 to 8, 2, 1, 2, 2, 5. So, it will be root of 3 by 5. And root of 3 by 5 will be in turn equal to 0 0.6, root of 0 0.6 seconds. So, this is your time of flight. And if, for example, you want to calculate what? So, so we are done with this for time of flight because that is the easiest equation. So time of flight is equal to u sin theta divided by g. From here you want to calculate u that will be simply equal to g multiplied by t divided by 2 multiplied by sin theta. Now everything is given to you. Simple substitution will do. All right. We'll, we'll stay as a home assignment for you. So this example will be a home assignment for you. And the equation is like this. y is equal to 1 by root 3 multiplied by x minus x to care. So this will be a home assignment for you. Again a quadratic equation. And what you are supposed to calculate is exactly same. Calculate number one is what? Initial angle of projection. B part is that what you had to calculate next is? 
this uh, maximum height, isn't it? Maximum height, C part that you had to calculate horizontal range, D part that you had to calculate time of flight, and E part that you had to calculate the initial velocity. This is what you